Hey folks, we're going to quickly familiarize ourselves with NOAA's new Space Weather Prediction Center. It's time to update the links. All the flux, the telemetry, and the models have changed web addresses. First things first, on the center homepage we see a very simplified current conditions list. R stands for radio blackout, which occurred during solar flares when our atmosphere gets ionized by the high solar energies. S is for solar energetic particle events, or space radiation storms resulting from solar activity and visible on the proton flux from GOES. The G is geomagnetic storminess, which is wholly based on the KP index, where 4 marks instability and 5 and above are geomagnetic storms. The home page also has a number of quick links on there. The SXI is like the SDO's little brother, but when SDO goes down, it's a great backup. And of course, those three charts we showed are there, but there are many more links below. Below this video, you'll find the full monitoring suite of links, like to the solar wind telemetry from ACE, where we monitor changes in particle flows from our sun due to coronal holes and CMEs, like this one. You've got the link to the new Enlil spiral, where CMEs and other space weather events are tracked through space. This helps with predicting auroras and geomagnetic storms. The other primary charts and graphs are linked for you as well. The sun won't wait for us to catch up. Let's get acclimated quickly and keep the space weather monitoring on point. I'll see you in the morning.